Hey everybody, this is Chewy Plays Nintendo, and today I'm going to talk about the slight improvements Nintendo sneakily showed us for couch co-op in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Before we get too far though, please hit that subscribe button for regular updates on Animal Crossing and other Nintendo topics. A while ago, I made a video that asked a lot of questions about how multiplayer was going to work in Animal Crossing New Horizons. One of the big questions I had was how items were going to work in the new game when playing in couch co-op. Just so I make this portion clear, I do want to explain that when I say couch co-op, I'm referring to the new multiplayer feature where we can play with our friends who live on the same island on the same console. This is opposed to playing local multiplayer with two or more consoles and islands or via online with multiple consoles. I know it's all confusing, but just know that I'm focused on that one multiplayer feature where you are sharing the console and the screen. When Aya Kyogoku and Hisashi Nogami showed off the couch co-op feature, there was something interesting that happened whenever the leading player selected a tool. Both players were equipped with that same tool. It seemed that the activities were dictated by a single player. Naturally, this worried a lot of players and seemed to remove some of the excitement we felt for this feature. It seemed like an odd choice to make us all use the same tool instead of giving the second player a little bit more freedom. However, the most recent footage we got of Animal Crossing New Horizons actually showed us that this was updated. In two scenes, we were able to see four players sharing a screen together. The first scene showed the familiar view we saw during the treehouse when a player first called the players over. All of them were in the plaza area, ready to get exploring. The second scene was much more interesting. We see the four players going around the town together doing different tasks. Two players can be seen with axes, one can be seen fishing, and the leader, indicated by the arrow, can be seen empty-handed picking up the oars a player hit out of a rock. This new scene shows that when we play in couch co-op, we'll be able to do different tasks. Before, the players shared the items, but now we can see at least three different options for the players sharing the screen. This is a huge change to the feature, and it's for sure important. I think the fun thing for players working together is being able to delegate different tasks to work toward their goals. It makes the gameplay much more cooperative if you get a bit more freedom to pick what tasks you're taking on. This also gives me more questions. From what we saw in the treehouse, the leader plays an important role. Not only did they control the items, they also controlled where the players move through the world based on where the leader wanted to be. The leader's inventory was also prioritized. Now that we're seeing that each player can choose different items, it makes me wonder how it's all going to work. Will players now be able to choose their individual inventories? How is the screen going to move based on player positions? One thing I noticed could be troublesome in the scene is the fishing. Hisashi Nogami's character is seen fishing in the corner. The difficulty with that is the fish visibility and what happens when the leader character gets too far. Not only will the target be off the screen making it harder to get, there is the risk of the character going too far and forcing that fishing player to zip through the screen to the leader's position. I can definitely see the situation becoming a bit of an annoyance for at least one of the players. I do like the direction this one scene has taken us in, but there are still some minor things that can be concerning. I think it's huge that we'll be able to use different items and that can't be understated. It definitely makes that couch co-op gameplay more exciting for me. I'm hoping we get to see more about the multiplayer soon though. Nintendo promised they would show off the multiplayer at a later time during the treehouse at E3, so I think we can expect to get some of our questions answered when they better outline the feature. So what do you all think of couch co-op multiplayer so far? Are you excited about this feature or not? Also, is there something you're worried about with multiplayer? Please let me know in the comments. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you all next time. Bye!